This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Just wait. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, 704 Tuesdays. We've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the, the Sorgatron Media Studios with the crew, uh, both in person and digitally in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, with us, first of all, going down the line in Beacon, New York. He is the only Mayhemer with a future ever letter from the WWE. He is mad. Mike? How do you fuckers like Goldberg? Oh. <laughs> well, I think I told you this shit was gonna happen. And I think somebody who who has somebody with him that does really like the Goldberg situation from uh, <laughs> Mainstream Central is uh, Mainstream Matt. Yeah, hello, Sorgi. How are you doing? Say hello, yeah, Mason. Yeah. There you are. Yes. Yeah. Good job. I'm you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> also with us. <laughs> The other Carlins, Jen Carlins is here Hello. in studio for the first time on the show. My very first time in a studio. You were sent as the, as the, uh, as the, uh, uh, oh, what's the thing when Galactus emissary? sent emissary of, of Mayhem Mania tonight oh, to conduct. Yes. 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 You were oh, the silver the- server to the Mayhem Mania Galactus. Sure. <laughs> the Herald. <laughs> the Herald. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. This is going to be a shit show. <laughs> <laughs> also with us the winner of the uh 2020 mayhem draft chad the shad mm-hmm. with his trophy before him for the people on audio can you describe what you have on the I table have there a very pristine 24 7 championship belt mm-hmm. it's very nice mm-hmm. it fits very snugly onto my shoulder and there it will remain for mm-hmm. years to come Nope. 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 Taking it back. I am your mayhem fantasy football champion. Then, now, and forever. <laughs> taking it back. Yeah. I am taking it back. Championship. Mm-hmm. See, the funny thing is, though, when Chad loses, because he will, then he has to pay the shipping. <laughs> It's the loser's fee, if you so will. I, uh, it will not be <laughs> leaving my house. Some extra motivation. <laughs> I'll just keep winning it. Mm. You know what? I'm going to ship it to my house again. <laughs> just so I can help. have the joy of getting it in the mail again. Send that cash on delivery, apparently. Like, oh, mm. man, look at this belt. Oh. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. Mike did well. Yes, and of course, Ronnie Starks is not here. Uh, if you haven't seen the video over on Black Diamond Wrestling's um, Facebook page, Ronnie Starks uh, has been abducted and he is missing. Uh, we have these um, uh, uh, milk cartons in the works here. Uh, the producer Missy has been coordinating this with the good guys. And uh, as it says here on, you can see there's a wonderful picture of him on the side missing Ronnie Starks. Uh, date missing 3 1 2020. Last seen in Benwood, West Virginia. That would be the Diamondplex. White male, eyes blue, hair shaved. Uh, look for additional information on missing persons in your free press. He's been shaved. If you can identify this individual or I've seen him, please report any information to the good guys. Good um, guys. I'm yeah. actually okay with this development, Hork. The losing of him? Yep. Why? Jeez, that's so mean. Nobody deserves to get kidnapped. I mean, he... All right, hold on, hold on. Especially in West Virginia. All right, that all right. Wow. That, I'll, yeah. that I will grant you. But, yeah, but it seems like did it, shave him. it seems like wherever he is, he has full internet access. Yes. So I mean, they can't be treating him that terribly. Listen, Mad Mike, it's 2020. Kidnappings are a lot different than you remember. <laughs> yeah, them white really? vans have Wi-Fi now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. There's cell service everywhere. Yes, producer Missy. Ronnie is tied up somewhere. Ronnie is tied up somewhere. There's evidence. Yes. Yes. Yeah, the good guys have taken over his social to try to get the message out. It's like um it's like when you memorialize a uh, social media. So, 
He's, but his who, identity's who took, been stolen. His but then who, how did they get much. the picture of him? Uh, the, the, through the kidnapper. Either okay. way, we do not negotiate with kidnappers. Nope. No. No, no, we don't. So, so but we'll be looking for you. We'll be looking for you. Uh anyways, it's bad we don't know any um wrestling sleuths or anything. There's no wrestling detectives. There's no wrestling detectives? No. Yes, there uh, are. Um, and Leslie Nielsen is dead. Leslie Nielsen is very much alive. No, Wait, not. is he? Leslie Nielsen? Yeah. I thought he died. No, Leslie Nielsen's dead. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I mean he was trying to figure out the Undertaker thing at one SummerSlam. Mm, true. So we, well we do have Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson would be <laughs> I could listen to his voice. He finds. I, he I find Mark Wahlberg could find has, out. He does have a certain set of skills. He does. Huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what I've heard. All right. Either way, we'll keep an eye out for Ronnie Starks. And again, please um, keep a lookout as well. And uh, hopefully, but hopefully, don't we, pay for him to be released. But don't pay for him. No. I mean, no, not that. Don't pay for him to be released. No. And if so. you do, it's at least. Tree fifty. Just like yeah, about tree fifty. Okay. Okay. There's a limit. <laughs> There's a limit. Sure this is, is anyways, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Please go check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can subscribe to the Wrestling Mayhem Show on your on your uh, favorite podcast app or the video versions on their YouTube page and Facebook. I love that Mike is like dancing to my callback or something. Like like is there a rhythm to my voice when I do the intro information? And there, then there you- is. There is, but I'm also trying to stretch out my back. I'm just gonna leave it to him then. Uh, you can also email address at that email address. Good time at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, 412-206-WMAZ0. Tweet us at Mayhem Show, our Facebook page and uh, uh, group for Wrestling Mayhem Show. A lot of great conversation is happening over there, including our campaign to uh, find Ronnie Sarks. And you can join us every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Facebook Live. Plus, we're on other uh, platforms like the Sorgatron Media Twitch page, uh, as well as the Indie Wrestling.us Twitch page. Actually, probably just that one now I think about it. And uh, our Twitter, Periscope, YouTube, but of course all the great conversations over on the Facebook page. But you have all those other platforms in case you're you're not on a Facebook or you need a Chromecast or something that gets you hooked up there too. If you want to continue the conversation elsewhere, maybe you're catching this a little later in our podcast uh, feed or something, uh, hit us up at hashtag WMS704. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. It is ramping up here going into the Patreon in the bank uh, season. Uh, Thank you so much, our friends at the fan of the show level, Bo Diggity! Woo! Ed Burke, Bobby FJ Town, Tina Keys, and Team Hammer Fist, our friends at the Poppy Club, Bradley Brothers, Dave, Dave Potter, Kyle Turner, and Daniel Towery. Our friends at the Pizza Club level, Doc Remy and the Refs, WrestlingRevolution.com, who are have been providing our fantastic Mayhem Mania graphics the last several weeks. And at the manager levels, uh, OccupyBroWrestling.com, Farnsworth Investments. Got to see him this past week over at WrestleRex. And at $21, uh, one Mad Mike. Yeah! yeah. Super manager status. There you go. There you go. Okay. Yes. Uh, since you brought up Patreon in the bank, I will remind everyone it's coming up on March 24th, so that will be uh, your target date if you want to get in on all the fun. Fantastic. It, it's the go-home show to WrestleMania. That's it? Well, I know it's a week before, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's yeah, that's right. Uh, Patreon in the it's bank, the and then by the right. week, a.k.a. the WrestleMania preview, you know, yeah, the go-home for WrestleMania. So we like to give, you know, get Mayhem Mania out of the way so that we can devote all our attention to the events coming up um, in the real world of wrestling, not to the pretend Good world. Lord, there's going to be a lot of them. Oh, I understand there was an update to a level change in Patreon. I did not get in my notes, but we'll double check that here um, appropriately. So, yes. Um, and you guys can support the show, too, at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. So a lot of wrestling this past week, uh, guys, and I, I guess one of the biggest things was AEW did have a pay-per-view, which some of us here in attendance have got to watch. I was myself busy um, um, helping produce the uh, Prospect Pro Wrestling show that's now up on the network, but I've seen some clips, mostly the Orange Cassidy clips, and I, I'm hearing about some of the back and forth, <laughs> the, the thumbs up from Jen over there um and i'm seeing a little bit about the the choir that that sang out jericho Mm -hmm. um of course reddit's being nasty about it i guess but it's reddit 
Um, so so t- tell me vibes, Matt, Jen, knowing that you watched it, and and I think uh, Matt, Mike, you watched a bit of it too. I, I, I saw the whole thing. Yeah, I saw the whole thing. Chad, did you get? No, I, you you were I busy was, at PAX this entire weekend. I was at PAX East. playing wrestling video games. Let's touch base on that a little bit mm-hmm. later. But yeah. first, AEW. So, uh, Jen, what were your initial thoughts of the show? Amazing. Mm-hmm. Of course, um, disclaimer: John Moxley fan. <laughs> John Moxley has put a smile on my face again. Okay, that's good. You were worried about him for a while, weren't you? Totally uninterested. Really, like since AEW. No, since you're, you're talking the Dean days. The Dean days. Yes. Just okay. But since the, um, I like him a lot more now than I did back in that place. At that other place. <laughs> The, the the long forgotten well he, and you've been you've actually been watching along with both the AEW and New Japan with him right yes okay because I know Matt you've been you've been pretty deep in the New Japan I know Matt's always sending me clips of what look what Moxley's doing now so <laughs> so uh, Matt uh, what were your impressions of the show it was awesome mm-hmm. um, uh, Omega and Hangman versus the Bucks is. Not only one of the best tag team matches I've ever seen, it's one of the best matches I've seen, period, ever. Really? All-timer. That good. Jeez. Yes. Storytelling, off the page, incredible. Um, I will also draw attention to uh, uh, Sammy and Darby, I thought, had an incredible match. Um, it was short, but it was just a great sprint. And I thought Orange Cassidy versus Pac was incredible. I thought... Pack. I, I mean, Orange Cassidy's amazing. I, I, enough to say about Orange Cassidy. I thought Pack was on like a god level wrestling wise. He was so good in that match. It was unbelievable. And then you cap the night off with, you know, our family's favorite wrestler, John Moxley, <laughs> putting the big one. And that sends everyone home happy. So, yeah, it was awesome. Great show to watch. So much fun. It's so interesting because I've seen the clips. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, someone put a super cut basically of like everything Orange Cassidy probably did in that match, and I really want to see the rest of it to just see Pac's side of it too, because I'm sure yeah. that really kind of played into it more than it just looking like what's this goofy move, you know? If you just watch that video by itself, right? I mean, it's like any kind of a uh, great comedy, right? You need a straight man to mm-hmm. play against. A mm-hmm. funny guy, and Pat is he's perfect for that role. It just he's the most miserable person on the face of the earth uh, when he's out there. So yeah, I thought he was absolutely brilliant. Just mm-hmm. to make that to make that whole thing work, you know, you need that opponent to just hit the sweet spot when it comes to the tone and just mm-hmm. the layout of mm-hmm. the match. Pat had it dialed in perfect. He was great. Uh, Tina, Tina is uh, recommending that we, we we talk about that Jericho entrance. Tell me, I haven't I have not seen this yet. I, I've only seen kind of images um, and, and allusions to it. I know there was some sort of choir introduction, right? Uh, yes, there was a yeah. choir uh, that sang Judas. Uh, Jen, wife, please take it away. I know you uh, you're aware of all this stuff too. With the, the yeah, they sang the whole the whole song. Inquire yeah. rendition. Inquire yeah. acapella. Really, rendition. really. I, nice. I think he would have been okay with it if that was his actual entrance, but then they played the real song. They played the song afterwards, and that's what he walked out to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like he should have walked out to the chorus version, in my opinion, because that's that's like the cooler aspect of it, right? Mm-hmm. Like, because that's what wow. Bobby Roode did when they had Glorious. Like, he came out to. The choir singing glorious. Right. Well, that's what Cody did too with his. Well, Cody, Cody Triple H did up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I mean, I, I thought I, I thought Jericho's entrance was awesome. I mean, fans love to sing along with the song now, so you kind of have to give them the, mm-hmm. the real, um, mm-hmm. real music. So it was brilliant. Uh, so, so apparently, the uh, the woman who was leading the choir um, had just kind of like spontaneously decided she was going to do her own kind of acapella version of a song and did one of the deals where like you um you record yourself and then you record yourself and yourself and yourself and yourself uh and you sing a cappella with your with yourself um and i guess jericho spotted this and that was enough for him and uh he contacted her and said get your crew together and get them to chicago and uh that's how it all came (laughs) together not only a fan um but also you know very talented and it's always you know it's awesome you know it's a great uh, little story of her um you know, getting, you know, 
just getting that little bit of attention and getting a chance to shine. And they were mm-hmm. awesome. Mm-hmm. They were I awesome. It. So they they've been really good about it. And I feel like they're they're on that level with like NXT where where they are making these if we're gonna do a pay-per-view, we're going to make it special, right? With your choir entrances, with Hangman Page coming out on a horse one show, you know, yes. things like that. You know, it, it feels like they, they, they have to throw those in just to kind of stick it out. I mean, they don't have a WrestleMania. Mm-mm. So, and again, NXT doesn't have a WrestleMania, or more or less. We'll see what this week, this year looks like um, in general. But uh, so, so like, it, it, it does make them feel special. It seems in the long way. I need to talk a little bit about because uh, hmm. uh, yeah. I yeah. I thought that the is. show <laughs> I thought the show was a little predictable. Okay. Like, and predictability is not always a bad thing. Um, like I I just thought it was like it would have surprised me more if Orange Cassidy won. Okay. Or like if or if Darby Allen didn't win because Darby Allen kind of had like pretty much every match was predictable for me at least and that doesn't necessarily make a bad pay-per-view but it does kind of taint it a little bit. Okay. Like because Jericho's going on a tour with Fozzy. We know he's losing. Like, and Cody is not going to put himself over. So we know he's losing. Like, I don't know. It Like, the matches were good. The storytelling was good in a lot of the, like, I, I agree the tag match was very good. Um, I've seen better tag matches because I'm not huge on the Buck style. I did like the storytelling aspects of it. But, um, like, I thought the, I thought the MJF Cody stuff was a little overbooked. I thought the, um, the women's style match was just the less said about it, the better. Really? Yeah, like there, there was no feud going into it. Mm-hmm. Um, Jr. was at his dirt worst on commentary for it. Um, it, it just they, they didn't really seem to gel because they've never worked together. Mm-hmm. Because they they didn't even have like any kind of barely interaction before this, and. I, I don't need to see Jack Swagger in a ring in 2020. I, I just don't. And that's not, to me, that's not the way you open a show. Mm-hmm. Like, you, if you're going to open a show, you open the show with Sammy and Darby. Because they, they tore the shit off. And that was even before the match started. Like, they, they tore the fucking house down. And that was great. But, I I don't know. It just seemed like, there were it was a show bookended by two matches I could have seen in WWE and have seen in WWE. Granted, different players, different stories, but I don't know. It just it, it was a good show. Don't get me wrong. I don't think it was fifty dollars worth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I I think that price point still needs to come down, despite the buys they're doing. Like if they drop that pi- price point by twenty bucks. They'll get, they'll probably get double the buys. I think there's something more to that when you talk about like those pay per views and those prices. Like I think they may be locked into certain price points with them. Like it's not like they're doing an eye pay per view. Like they're doing a full produced pay per view, right? Yeah. So it's, it's not like you know, even an ROH or Impact Wrestling at this point, right? So mm-hmm. so that might be just a you know, hey, we're a big time primetime television thing. This is a big time primetime television show cost kind of thing. So, but I don't know. I don't know the economics of it. So, what we're not talking about here, though, is the big tattoo on the neck. <laughs> I didn't want to bring it up. In that... fact, I wanted to. I wanted to ask Matt. If we could, I wanted to ask Matt if we could send Cody's tattoo to the Phantom Zone mm, before this, we even start Mayhem what, Mania. Like this is what happened. This is my experience with uh, Saturday night because we were at the hotel and we couldn't really get uh, like fight. It was on fight, right? Mm-hmm. So we would have had to mess with stuff to try to get it on the hotel TV involved. So we just, and it was already like half over by the time we got back. So we're like, we'll just, you know, whatever. We'll just stay in the hotel bar, have some drinks. And uh, the picture comes up with that 
neck tattoo. And I'm like, it has to be like airbrushed on. It's got to be like, no, there's no way. And then shortly in my timeline is the photos of him at the tattoo shop <laughs> getting the needle, like yeah. showing them coloring it in. And I'm like, God damn, that's real. Oh boy, that's real. <laughs> I didn't oh, think boy. it was real at first. I I didn't because I it didn't look red. Like it mm-hmm. looked, mm-hmm. it looked healed. It lo- yeah, it looked like uh, he looked like a, a like a it looked like one of those old skateboarding stickers that they have on well, like the bottom. Of your was deck. he on the, the show this week? Your deck. The, like the best the the there. best tweet I saw about it was um, Cody asking like I think over a week ago. Hey, does anyone know any good tattoo places in Atlanta? And someone quote tweeted him saying, Update, he didn't find one. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. It it looks like an old, like, Tony Hawk sticker. Like, (laughs) like a skateboarder. Yeah, yeah, it looks like the Birdhouse logo. Yeah, like the old Birdhouse stuff. It looked like when you awkwardly awkwardly place those tattoos on your uh, creative character in WWE 2K. Or you don't know how to move them, and they just show up like on the side of the neck. Like, like if I, it I guess, was scaled, I, guess that's I think if it was scaled down to about half its size, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be as jarring. It's still like, a neck tattoo, and it's, it's also it's, still, it's just visually jarring. God, Cody's right just away. never going to be able to get an office job now. It's yeah. also it's also putting your own like gimmick logo on your person, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. which I mean. Well, that was the whole yeah. point. Yeah. Oh, no, I. Oh, I get it. It's, yeah. a, he's got, it's he's a stupid got point. I did, to make. I did learn a lot this weekend game. about. Yeah, I, I did learn a lot this weekend about you know why people get tattoos on certain parts of their body and the meaning behind it. And uh, yeah, it's a, It was. Um, it was hard not to look at during the. <laughs> the whole thing time. you look at. I, right. I think we'll get used to it. Maybe no. Um, no, he, I mean, he's one uh, more tattoo away. You from know what? Cool. I also um, saw a lot of uh, sentiment on Twitter that uh, we all need to respect other people's bodies and what they choose to do with it. So I respect <laughs> his body. I respect his choice. I, his own here. I, I, I respect his body. I respect his choice. But I also have the free speech to say it looks fucking stupid. <laughs> That is not a nice thing to say. I, I, I never said it was. I said if it was probably half its size, just scaled down a little bit, it wouldn't be as jarring, and I think it would be a little easier to look at. Mm-hmm. I won't say, but like, yeah, it's his. He can do whatever he wants. It's fine. But uh, yeah, and like, like you said, like it's one of the things you focused on while watching the match. That's it's just that's all I saw. Was... So I think it was just half his half the size. Yeah, and then maybe like. You, know, you add to it, like Randy Orton had some draw, had some tattoos, and now it's just one just big mess. <laughs> so, yeah, I, you know, he just he had point, those Jack. tribal we went, tattoos, and then he was like, "Boy, yeah. the tribal fat <laughs> is out." The skulls, skulls, Alex, skulls are always in fashion. Woo. Alex Cars is saying it's the worst thing Cody has done aesthetic wise since choosing not to wear knee pads. Oh. Uh, Matt, uh, Matt, I think you're getting loose, yeah. lo- lost in the internet there. What are you trying to say? Uh, I, I was, what was I going to say now? Now I've lost myself. Um, I was going to mention that um, I, I know, I think it's funny how like Ruby Riot shows up back on WWE TV. She's got some new ink, you know, it's creeping up the side of her neck. So I'm just looking, I'm like, that ah, looks great. You know, it's like, so it's all about like, I don't know, yeah. just kind of like our own expectations of who she these people had, are. Like, and, and and really about, and like when Randy, when Randy yeah. got the sleeves done, it happened like out of nowhere. And it was, and that was jarring too for a minute. We were like, what the hell is this? You know. Um, well, Rhea Ripley uh, has you know, sleeves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does yeah. she? Yeah. Yes, she does. Mm-hmm. You won't. You will not see them. Nope. She covered she is, with makeup. She is. Well, she's not allowed to get any more. I did not know that. Really? The WWE has halted because she wants to get like. She said in her thing she wants to be one of the most tattooed people alive. <laughs> She has, or maybe not arm, but she has full full legs or pieces or something. Yeah, they're all covered. You won't see them. Huh. Yeah, because she wears tights. Yeah, you won't see them. Huh. And like she wants to get her chest piece, and they're like, no, no, no. I believe it. Not right now. All tattoos not, no, do no, have to no, be no. approved by WWE. Isn't that correct? Yeah. 
Yeah. So, I mean, we, we have situations like the CM Punk where he already had the Pepsi and everything going in, of course. But uh, he, he got a chess piece, too, while he was uh, mm-hmm. he was working. And we can talk about um, Mr. Gentleman Jack's new Pirate Ooh, Ship Championship yeah. tattoo. What? Yeah. You haven't seen yeah, the Pirate Ship no. Championship? That was I, sort. That he was... took the Pirate Ship Championship and tattooed it on himself. It's unsettling. You gotta find. You haven't. I, seen I will it yet. say. I'll say the haircut looks good. <laughs> you know what? The tattoo actually doesn't look too bad. We're talking about <laughs> Jack Gallagher. Yeah. It, yeah. If we're comparing Jack. Jack Gallagher and Cody's new tattoos, I'm going Gallagher all day. Yeah. But me too. It's I. At least he's on theme. Like what <laughs> the what in the world <laughs> yeah, is like, this? Jack, it's you know, pirate ship I think, championship story. I think Jack Gallagher's tattoo is the answer to the question: What will someone do to desperately get on WrestleMania themed pirate? <laughs> <laughs> like you, Jack Gallagher's, know. like I'm getting that cruiserweight title match if, on the. If it goes out of style, after. you just add some skulls to it. Boom, you're good to yes. go. Skulls never go out of style. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Skulls skulls at, at, Maybe that's what Cody should do. Boom. Little oh. stars and striped skulls coming off the thing, going down to the shoulder or something. Well, no, he already has enough Triple H aesthetic going on. He doesn't need skulls in Latin to add to that. I tell you what, if you want to go check out a source for uh, other people making questionable choices and tattoos, please go check out IndieWrestling.network. <laughs> where you can find all the indie stars. And all they're their indie out. tattoos. And their indie tattoos. Hey, sometimes they're kind of questionable. But uh, but despite their, their tattoo choices, there's a lot of great action over there at IndieWrestling.network, IndieWrestling.us. Uh, our good friends from this past weekend, uh, Prospect Pro Wrestling, just had a show. Black Diamond Wrestling is actually uploading as I speak and will be available shortly after this recording uh, with a, a takedown um, where, of course, we are still looking for Ronnie Stars was abducted. We we're still looking for him. Um, look for uh, find, find Ronnie is now a page on uh, Facebook that you can follow to get all the updates on what happened to Ronnie and the search for our small ginger friend you need to put um, him on the taken movie poster that's right put him on the taken music post we are gonna uh and we're all, we're probably gonna start a gofundme to hire liam neeson to uh find him god don't contribute to that gofundme wait hey wait we need we need to find him do we we do need to find him do we but anyways go please check out the latest action okay. prospect pro wrestling of course um another grand food fight between mambo italiano and xander gabriel uh so Yes, Sorg, I, saw, I saw that. Yes, you. Oh, you did. Oh my God. Hmm. Sorg. Do you know what? Do you know what it's like to have Christmas in March? Wait, are we talking about the Mambo and Xander thing or the Gregory? Oh Iron no, thing? no, the, the Gregory. It's something Iron else. It's on our oh, network. Yeah. Leave that for later. Sorry. Sorry. But Forgot. uh, no, no, no. That's that's a different. There's group. too much food in wrestling. There's a maybe not enough food in wrestling. That's not the case. Yeah. Either way, support independent food wrestling at indywrestling.network <laughs> five ninety nine or a seven day trial to get you started and check it out. All right, right. so Chad, the Shad, yeah, went the Pax East. I did, and you played some wrestling video games. I did, and card games, and card games. Yes, well, I'm the card game me, not personally. I did watch it. No, Mister Remedy. Mr. Played Remedy. the card game. Yes, Mr. Remedy. Played but you, you got to see some Retro Mania. I did. In action. I did. It was. It looked real good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Real good. It reminded me of the old um, Sega Genesis Raws. Mm-hmm. Um, like the Sega Super Nintendo type uh, wrestling games. Raw and was it that Royal, Royal Rumble? I think. It's a WrestleFest kind of thing, isn't it? I thought. Yeah. But like it was it, that yeah. era. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's 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 pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um. Enjoy is it, it contr- is it controlled like WrestleFest? Yes. I'm trying to remember <laughs> how WrestleFest is mainly controlled. It, it's like uh, it's like the old Sega Genesis Raw and uh, okay, so the old, like yeah, okay, like, that's old, not yeah the old like eight bit type wrestling games. Okay, because I because I never liked the controls of WrestleFest to be honest. Ah, oh, it's more I like never it's more like definitely like Raw and it did not translate okay. well to my iPad when they brought it out for that. <laughs> So still, <laughs> still sad. I can't re-download that since THQ. And that's right. coming out for all the platforms, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm excited. I think it I'm looks, getting. It looks, it looks good. It's smooth. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's great. 
definitely awesome. check it out. Uh, the card game we saw was Super Show. I think mm-hmm. it was what it was called. Um, uh, let's see. The guy put uh, Doc Remedy over, <laughs> which is surprising. <laughs> it's the first time he's ever been put over. Usually yeah. he's he's the one selling the. But uh, it it was uh it was interesting because you, like you rolled and each character it didn't you didn't have numbered dice you had colored dice and they matched uh four of these little things on your superstar card mm-hmm. power strength whatever so you would roll a blue and you would play off whatever your blue attribute number was so like strength and stuff and then you would have to chain your your intro attack, your grapple attack, and then your finisher. And you would play those out in order until you can work in like on bars and submissions and stuff. And then you would roll to get out or roll to kick out. Um, it was interesting. It took about, uh, they played one game. It took about probably 15, 15 minutes to play, yeah. a, to play a match, um, which was odd because the guy's like, man, you're just kicking out of stuff. Like, it seemed like sometimes. It, maybe he was holding back a little bit since mm-hmm. he was one of the like the guys who like made the game, or at least was very well versed in it. Okay. So maybe he was kind of holding back to try to sell it, for lack of a better term. But uh, <laughs> uh, so appropriate. I'll, I'll put but, these marks over, brother. Yeah, yeah. He was like, "I gotta do the job, get these packs sold." But uh, he. Yeah, it seemed to go on a little bit longer than I thought. Maybe he was used to some of the other games going. But uh, so you're looking at like pretty nice card game. Cole Cabana was part of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was one of the superstars. Other, they were just generic superstars like El Hombre and you know like the classic generic type. Uh, like the fourth page in WCW and W Revenge. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And there was like Divas cards and like it was they had these game mats, you know, like the the regular card mats you roll out so your cards don't get scratched up and whatnot, or like giant mouse pads like those. Mm-hmm. And they had different rings set up. So there was like one that looked like a Punjabi prison match. <laughs> <laughs> it was like ornate though. It wasn't like bamboo. It was like uh like Arabian like the the gold cages, like mm-hmm. bird cages. That's what it looked like. And then they had an inferno match one. <laughs> Jesus. And they had like a regular awesome. match and they had like yeah. other ones. And I'm like, these mats alone are just great. I just want this on my kitchen table. Did, but... <laughs> did the mats do anything to the gameplay or were they just no, there for they were just like just visuals. Own. They were just like a, okay. a, yeah, a personal play mat or whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But uh the game itself was a little expensive. Mm-hmm. But I was trying to find a price on it. I, I dropped I dropped links if you're with us live in the chat room. Uh, RetromaniaWrestling.com for that game, and I found a listing for a Super Show over on BoardGameGeek.com. Uh, so you can check it out. They, like, to... the, they had like a two a two deck pack that was like twenty five bucks, so that mm-hmm. was okay. But they had like you could get this with a whole bunch of other cards and stuff, and it was like sixty five bucks. I'm like, oh, that's a it's a little bit pricey. Yeah, well, yeah, just, I mean, just a tad. Well, that's that's just card. That's, well, it's card games, and it's not like it's not like magic that you're going to find at Walmart, right? Right. Or, or Pokemon or something. Very. Like. It's it's a very customized thing. Very the, niche. Mm-hmm. The Phil Singer very, games were like that too, yeah. but it was like, yes, but yes. it was good art, and and it was it was a um I don't want to call it lower, but it's a, a niche yeah. kind of thing, yeah. right? Um and, and 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 you know a smaller company but but you know worth it if you if you got into they had it. a ring bell mm-hmm. after every oh game, really after every game other people you know other you know people were playing if you won or something they rang the bell and announced you as the winner so they their showmanship for the game mm-hmm. was was uh very good you could hear that bell too like like half the convention away <laughs> nice nice um, nice and other <laughs> wrestling related stuff I uh, Xavier Woods was there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just happened to see him. We were walking right by the uh, Final Fantasy Square stuff, and there was like a photo section for the new expansion for Final Fantasy fourteen, the online one. And uh, there's Powder Toast Man and something else standing there, and they're getting pictures. Like, hey, this is this is pretty good. And uh, turn around and <laughs> like, oh, oh, that's just Xavier Woods. <laughs> like, he's like five feet away from me. Like, oh, what the hell? That, that's Xavier Woods. What? Oh. And he's getting his picture, and like nobody is around, like noticing him as you know Xavier Woods or something. We almost stood around because we we're like, I bet you we could just walk up. And be like, hey, can we get a picture with you? <laughs> it was like we had some stuff to do, and he had his like four man entourage, mm-hmm. and then they were just taking pictures. So we we're like, yeah, we'll just 
I'll just get my pictures, which I tweeted out, and then that's. Awesome. But we did do. Uh, uh, pow, third toast. Pow, third toast. <laughs> <laughs> and then we and then we went ahead and jumped out. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. It, Wrestling it, follows us everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yes, it does. Is there any chance the the supercard people maybe get together with AEW and release an expansion called the Bastard Pack? Uh, oh, uh, sounds like you're talking dollar signs. That's mm-hmm. a good dollar idea. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Anyways, uh, no. So so a lot of wrestling there. Was, was there any like bigger uh, uh, like does this, like two K represent there? Or is this mostly an independent show? Isn't it? Um, like, it's a little bit of everybody. Well, this what? little coronavirus thing knocked out some of the big guys. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah uh, like yeah. Uh, Sony did not show up. Right, oh. right. And um, like Sony pulled out, and then Square pulled SquareSoft pulled out all their Japanese mm. um, employees. Mm-hmm. But their American employees and stuff were still there. Okay. And I met the voice cast for the remake, the Final Fantasy VII remake. Nice. Ooh. So I got autographs from like uh, Barrett, Tifa, Jesse, um, Jesse, James, Arius. Okay. Those guys. Uh, the voice actor for Barrett was helping people in the demo section, mm-hmm. which he came around. I was. He gave us all fist bumps while we we're going to play the demo because I got we got tickets to go play the demo. And he was fist bumping, and then as I was playing, he he was going around like tapping people on the shoulder, and I was actually playing as Barrett when he came around. He's like, "This guy taps me on the shoulder. He goes, you know what you're doing. <laughs> That's the guy you need right there. This guy knows what he's doing." Mm-hmm. And then he went about, and uh, so Remedy was in line for his playthrough, and. Out of nowhere, he had to leave the signing early, uh, so he had to go somewhere. He reaches over like three guys, goes out of his way to hit Remedy while he's in line, points at him and goes, you have a good day, and leaves. <laughs> Dave, doesn't know who, Dave doesn't know him. Dave didn't meet him. He just went out of his way to just tap, tap Remedy and go, hey, you have a good day. Enjoy this demo. He reminded he reminded, <laughs> Dave's like, what the? F- <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like, oh, all right. And Maybe nobody, everyone around him party. was like, do you know? Do you really? Do you like personally know him or something? Because he made a beeline straight to you and was like, tap, like grabbed him on the shoulder. He's like, hey man, just want to tell you have a good day. Enjoy this demo. Didn't tell that to anybody else. Didn't even talk to anybody else. Just maybe, like, maybe he remembers him from his David Demira days yeah, in the ring. Must be a fan. <laughs> maybe must be a fan of. Uh, You're the guy that that Logan Shulo. <laughs> a I, saw, yeah. I saw a video of you jumping on a baby carriage once. Yeah, yeah. there's that too. Maybe that's You're where he's a fan of. From, uh, should I wrestle that? Yeah, <laughs> must have known him. Must have known him. Hmm. Mm. But it was real fun. Pax East was uh was real fun. It's tiring though. Mm-hmm. It's tiring. But no, there there was no WB two K. Um, mm. probably because they're ashamed. But, <laughs> um, um, Seems accurate. No, I mean I'm th- surprised they didn't have like super card there or something. THQ Nordic was there. Wait, there's uh, actually a THQ Nordic? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um Harmonix was there with their new uh rhythm game. Okay. Animal Crossing was there. Okay. Nintendo was there with their big studio. So there's there's big studios there and there's independent guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The in betweens and stuff. But this year they're uh, like Sony pulled out and nobody else really big kinda pulled out. But mm-hmm. with the new consoles coming later on this year. Tomorrow or Who next year. Next Maybe. year's will probably be a lot more of a of a showy yeah. than yeah than this year. Awesome. Well, was, this kind of crossed over with Awesome Cast a little bit. <laughs> it all blends together. It's all entertainment. It does. It it's does. It's all entertainment. Alex, and, uh, Alex wrestling Alex was Alex. there and mm-hmm. video games and people. Alex Karch has show title PAX East. PAX. PAX. PAX East. Well, that was Pirate Ship Tattoo, but. Uh, <laughs> the Pirate Ship Championship finds That's a new home. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Pirate. Whatever. Jeez. Uh, and. 
and he didn't tattoo over his nipples. I don't know why, but no. he didn't. <laughs> I don't I mean, think anybody has. I don't think you can. I've heard no, that's very painful. Yeah, it's a bad idea. It says, let's get the nipples. Um, <laughs> get chopped for a living. But it's like it's like they just stop. <laughs> they go around them, and it's like, well, From, that's a little, uh, that breaks it, up the design a little bit. Maybe they're booty the anchor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, from the chat, Kyle uh, says, I missed the should I wrestle that where he cross body the blocked a bus. That was a stuff a bus full of char- toys for charity, by the way, mm-hmm. <laughs> that he did. Um, and, and Tina's saying that they usually show bigger stuff with uh, PAX Prime up there on Labor Day weekend. Go, she, yeah, she's right in that neck of the woods they up in do. Seattle. So. Some, someday, maybe uh, uh, we'd, like to, we'd like to make a trip to, to the PAX, homeland, to, the, to PAX Prime. PAX Prime. Uh, or, or PAX Prime. South. Because that's in San Antonio. They have a South now? Wow. I've they, been out of the loop of Penny Arcade for a while. San Antonio. Yeah. And PAX Unplugged was in Philly. But it's all, it's no electronics. It's I, I all, did, I remember. It's all card games. And I remember games. seeing those guys at their booth at New York Comic Con 2011. <laughs> <laughs> they just had a booth. And they were yep. just like, yeah. hey, it's those two guys. And uh, Rooster Teeth, too. We're mm-hmm. there too. Now they don't even run that thing. They just kind yeah. of sit back and let it do its own yeah, thing. Yeah, they've they hired people it. to do it. So they had the main And they, they were playing their D&D and stuff. They mm-hmm. had their shows mm-hmm. and stuff. Wow. They would go out and mingle. It's awesome. Fun. Well, now that we. <laughs> Good times. Oh, oh too. <laughs> Those guys have been around forever. Mm-hmm. They're like the Met Wrestling Mayhem show. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Somewhere yeah, around that, that time. This is episode 704. Mm hmm. Well, guys, hey, you know what's also been around for a good while? Our friends at Slice on Broadway, SliceOnBroadway.com, right up here down the street here in the Pittsburgh area. Beachview, Carnegie, East End, PNC Park, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, bringing it to you, feeding our guests every week. Jen's happy she's here. She gets some. Ronnie, so before Ronnie was abducted, again, please find Ronnie, hashtag find Ronnie. Uh, if you find Ronnie over on uh, the Facebook uh, before before that Ronnie was here for the latest Brohemoth Invitational we had a lot of fun uh, Honey Badger was here uh, Jordan Styles was here the good guys were hanging out for a little bit um, all of them before we lost Ronnie um, it's getting more morbid the more I say it isn't it uh, but he actually got to see it warm so you guys know I get the I get the pizza before Awesome Cast so by the time my Wrestling Mayhem show contingent gets here it's not terribly fresh um so he was excited because uh uh, we did order some pizza for friday night and he got to check it out fresh from the delivery man and was very excited about now when you go and pick it up before the show do you put your foot across the door i kick it in shoulder man the perfect pepperoni oh you should just kind of shoulder it in so you do the old john i don't want to shoulder because i don't want to touch doorknobs anymore because of corona coronavirus um you know what and i say sup you so you john cena shoulder block it you Mm. run and just no 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 you shoulder block it open yes listen if you if i keep wearing john cena give me clothes and do this the coronavirus can't see me. Sorg, the yes. coronavirus already may be inside you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Stop it. Oh, boy. You sound like my 10-year-old. <laughs> you know what? Brush your teeth. Wash your hair in the shower. You'll be fine. And if you get yeah, sick, take your vitamins, wash your hands. Your prayers. Wash your hands. <laughs> and if you get sick, stay home and order some slice on Broadway. Mm-hmm. They'll kick our, our your door. They'll kick your door in and bring it to you. But that's you know right. What? That's right. Slice on Broadway at a Pirates game. Mm-hmm. The only thing my kids will beat. That's right. What's that, Matt? I was just saying that my uh, my t- our ten year old son sounds like the CDC director. <laughs> <laughs> your ten year old sounds like the CDC director. Wow. Um. Anyways, he might be more qualified. We're gonna be back after this. Everybody's gonna get tested, and uh, we'll be back with Mayhem Mania. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hey, listen up. This is SJK doing James Keenan. You're listening to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. <laughs> the Wrestling Mayhem Show is back. We have a hell of a crew with us, of course. Uh, oh, I didn't give a camera to producer Missy, but she does have a microphone. 
I don't need a camera. We're I, ran out like, I don't have any more cameras for you. They're all, they're all packed away right now. Um, so she's here. Jen Carlin's is here to preside over things with the pizza really box. I see you brought. See I see you brought the home edition of uh, Mayhem Mania with you today. I did mm-hmm. arts and crafts with the Carlins. A Chad, the Shad, and a myriad of people mm-hmm. on the Google Hangout right now uh, the, to be named. Hey, correction: Tina Keys is part of the Poppy Club now. Yeah. On the Patreon, we just updated that. Thank you, Tina, for your contribution, everybody. On patreoncom slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. I'm Poppy. I'm Poppy. Somebody wants me to bring DeMarco back for this. It's like look, that was like two hours of education around Christmas. Anyways, um, go I'm check Poppy. the archives for that. So, anyway, so so Jen, you're presiding over I Mayhem am. Mania. I am. What happens now? Hell if I know. Would you like me? <laughs> would you like me to read the intro? You can read the yes. intro. Go right ahead. This is Mayhem Mania. This is the ultimate fantasy booking game. The goal is to create the best WrestleMania card possible, not necessarily to predict what WWE will do. That means we must play by the rules of our current reality. Everyone comes in their current physical, emotional, psychological, etc. state. Bottom line, if Vince McMahon can do it, we can do it. That's the intro. Very it's good. a competitive, <laughs> thought, well, a competitive thought experiment, you guys. It's a good, competitive good job, thought All right. experiment. So let's go into the match review. Jen? That would be the super card, correct? Yeah. Uh, what, what do we got so far? I don't know. I have graphics on the screen for yes, you. Yes, read the super card. Yes, read yeah. the super card. Super yeah. card survived three weeks without being altered in any way. These matches are locked in and cannot be messed with. Mia yeah. Yim and Kaylee Ray. And Tegan Knox versus Asuka, Kari Singh, and Leo Shirai. The Sky Pirates. She ain't no pirate. Edge versus Matt Riddle. Bro. Bro. That's my match. That's a very good match. And I, I was I was really afraid someone was gonna alter it. Yes. I wanted to And the other bad. matches that exist for in play. And the matches that are in play. Nikki Cross versus Keith Lee. Mm-hmm. Finn Great. Balor. Well, created by Stevie LaBelle. Finn Balor versus Daniel Bryan. Created by Sexy Fireman Jason Tyler. Reverend Devon and Deacon Batista versus Paul London and the Brian Kendrick. Created by the Country Hammer Jamie Jameson. And so, brought to you by 2006. <laughs> Cesaro versus Bray Wyatt. Also created by Stevie LaBelle. Isaiah Scott versus Jordan Devlin versus <laughs> John Morrison versus. Rick, Rick, Ricochet, y'all. Philip Archer, created. Elias versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Created by me. Uh, Bianca Belair versus Jazz. Created by Tina Keys. And the eighth match will be created by Chad the Shad. There you go. Who was your? You graduated. That was the. Bro. That was the. He graduated. Edge of Matt Riddle. Edge and Matt yes. Riddle match Chad the Shad, so you get to create the replacement. Yes. Chad the Shad, send one person to space jail. <laughs> I get to send somebody to space you jail. Scotch tape and you can't. And, and you can't. You say you scotch <laughs> tape and a marker to add name to wheel. Do not write directly on the wheel itself. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I see the. Read see how the Undertaker is labeled here. The camera. After so. adding the name, spin the wheel to see if anybody escapes. Ooh. So we gotta add a name here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So well, let's first, first let's run down who's on it. So while you think, sure yeah, let me tell you who's on in. this bad boy. Uh, we all see, which is yes. not exactly a uh, a person, but is is on here as is a concept. Bailey, Bailey, Triple H, Ronda Rousey, The Undertaker, an old third generation superstar, Randall Orton. He's okay. crazy. So who are you going to put in space jail? Who will I put in space jail? So who will I put 
I don't think you can put anything. I don't think people can be double jeopardy back. Yeah, so. you, you you can't put anything back. Into yeah, you can't send back uh, John so Cena, like Enzo, well, me, Bobby yeah. Fish, Enzo, and Bobby Fish. Hmm. Lacey Evans just broke out. Lacey yeah, Evans, yeah. 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 Lacey yeah. Evans used her women's right. So, <laughs> I mean, Goldberg can go on here. Oh, oh. Dad. Dad, you're doing the Lord's work. You're doing the Lord's work, Dad. Since we don't have the marker over here, pick a number where we would put him. Just say he's 19. Oh. Okay, so 19. If it lands on 19, oh, he 19. just broke out of space jail. Okay. All right, and we'll put it, we'll put it on uh, later. Yeah, we'll add it later. All Should righty. Wow. Now, who breaks out of space here jail? Here we go. Ready? Yes. Yes. That was a good spin. Yeah, right, good spin, good spin, good spin. I strive good spin. To be on that. $1. The Undertaker has broken out of <gasps> Space Jam. He has sat up out of his grave. <sighs> he has risen to choke slam someone without removing his hat. Yes. yes. Play, yeah. Peel that piece of tape right off of there, dude. Oh, look at that. Just, you can't keep break, the Undertaker down. No. Nope, just nope. break Goldberg on that. Put it right I back. I don't think it's going to work. You got to cross it off and just put Goldberg. Yeah, yeah. The Undertaker doesn't just get crossed off like that. All right. We'll put Goldberg yeah. on there in due time. Uh, what is next, Jen? Chad, you choose who receives tonight's punishment. <laughs> Who's playing? God, what is this? Just Chad Knight? Who's playing? Part of the parade. Yeah, yeah. Who, what's the list of people playing? You need to hold up your belt, dude. And, and, and the play order. Playing. Yeah. Alex Cars, mm -hmm. Tina, what do do? Missy, uh, Brandon is in the chat. In the chat. Right. Mm -hmm. Brandon's last because the Alex Cars rule, I'll read his aloud. Right. Okay. So let's just. And I believe someone else made. Yeah, so we have a we have a submission. We have a submission. Oh, yes. That's... Which I think. So, yeah. so did that go first then? Yes. After Chad makes okay. his punishment. Chad, you gotta make you gotta choose your punishment person. Mad Mike. I'm not playing. <laughs> he's not oh, playing. He's not playing. That's right. Just... Ah! So let's let's choose. Um... Alex Cars, Tina, let's Missy, Tina, Brandon, oh. Casey. Oh. Okay. Someone's called for the wrath of the mother of dragons. Let's choose Tina. All right. Okay. You, I know you can <laughs> roll. You can roll with any challenge. So this will be really fun. Let's see what kind of adversity. Oh, there's a bag. There's a bag involved. See what kind of adversity you <laughs> the, will be dealing with these. this evening. Gosh. <laughs> Jen is like, next time Matt asks her to do this, no. <laughs> And, and do you want me to just host this remotely? <laughs> do you need to pick one is this, of things is this, is this you? Is this how you are when you're playing a new board game? God, no one likes you. This is how Jen was whenever we had to do a Total Divas wrap-up. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Love you, Jen. <laughs> no, I don't know what this is. I don't know. My husband's a freaking dork. Right. What do the instructions say? Okay, Chad, you pick you pick a punishment. Now, Chad, you. What's the punishment? Make I don't know. He never. He didn't say. Somebody gets punished. Okay. Tina has the coronavirus. I don't uh, know. Someone is trying to answer, but his microphone is not working. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's screaming like nah. He's, he's screaming, screaming into the, into the void. void. No one is able to hear. He's him. like the XFL when it first I started. Oh my god! Nah. He is in. He what is that kid still doing up? <laughs> He's the punishment. Though. He's in space jail. <laughs> we just send you him, bro. Yeah, type Wait, maybe it in I the. Can... Type yeah. it in the Read chat. his lips. All right, so he's saying the punishment is Mad Mike takes Tina's spot. That's weird. It's very odd. Sorg. Yeah. Have him message you. Overruled. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Drop out. Harlan's message Matt. He probably needs Harlan's a paper. Sorry. 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 Yeah, we have the submission have it. first. He just says right? punishment. We have the submission first, so that goes first, right? Yeah, so while we're figuring that out, we'll oh, go ahead and... No, it says, player must use a name drawn from the jar of the forgotten individuals on last year's supercard who, who is yet to be used in this 
used this year. So draw one. Yeah, here. They're yeah, right. you need to, you need to draw one way. of these. Right All right. Why, why don't we wait till we get her? To, we, wait till we get yeah, to her. We'll, we'll wait till we get to Tina's turn. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but okay. now we know. Okay. So we do have a submission. We have a submission. Chat. Uh, uh, hang out. I'm not entirely sure if you'll be able to hear this, uh, but we're going to play this for everybody else here. All right. Ready? Ready. Okay. We said we wanted some fresh young blood for Mayhem Media tonight. And it doesn't come any fresher than my ten year old son. <laughs> Mason. Hi, Mason. Um, we're, as, you, as you can see, we are playing the Mayhem Mania home game with the pizza box lid tonight. May Mason, you know the way this game is played. You must make one change to what is currently the seven matches here on this pizza box, pizza box lid. So please tell me what change would you like to make? Yes. You want to get rid of Nikki Cross. Yeah. All right. And who would you like to replace Nikki Cross with? Goldberg! Who? Goldberg! Goldberg! Gold... Man. So... Oh no! Goldberg versus Keith Lee. Mason. Oh no! Thank you very much. Excellent. <laughs> Sorry. Excellent yes. I got good news. What's that? My son's not asleep yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mason. What? Goldberg's in space jail. You can't use him. You blame Chad the Shad. Yeah. Blame Chad, Chad the Shad. The world. <laughs> Pick somebody else. Who's your 1B? Pick somebody else. Pick somebody else. Name a name. Anybody. Come on. No? The Undertaker was free. You just can't cry about it? The Undertaker's out of space jail. You made my kid cry. You're doing good. I Do I have heel. to make this pick? I'm the I'm heel heel Do I have to make this pick? Can they be swapped? Can He's I, can, can, out. Can, what are we going to do? Can the Undertaker take you the know spot what? of Goldberg since he escaped Space Jail? Is that acceptable? Mason, you can't name? Who else do you want? Yeah. Who is that? Yeah. Alistair Black. <laughs> Alistair Black versus Keith Lee. Aster, uh, Alistair Black. There you go. Okay. Ah. There you go. And Chad, there's one more thing on this list that, that Jen forgot to mention. What's that? You need to announce an entrant into the Mayhem Cluster Battle oh, Royal yeah. Rumble 2. Well, now. <laughs> Who's already in it? There's just a plethora of things that I have to do. Mm hmm. And I get another, I get to make the, like a new entry match as well for the, the eighth match. Is yep. Okay? Yeah. Technically, that should have been first before we did any other moves. <laughs> well, I can do that now. Well, that, that other one was pre taped. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's we're, so, we're fixing this now. I can I can go ahead and make that now, right? When we just go ahead and make it now. Yeah, just just yeah. go ahead and make it now. That sounds good. Yeah. Um It's going to be a, a singles match between Angel Garza and CM Punk. Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa! The ladies' man versus the chick magnet. And wow. Let's see. You need a name for that cluster fuck. <laughs> um, I, I don't think that's what it was called. The cluster but sure. Sure. No, the no. Cluster it, it, match. Clustering. The cluster battle royal, yeah. Cluster. And it can be yeah. anyone. Chad, it can be anyone. It can be anyone already booked. It can be, uh, I think, someone in space jail, too, technically. What, um... Put that put that dude who beat Ricochet last night. What's his name? Riddick oh, Moss. Riddy Mo? Yeah. Riddy Mo. Yeah, put him in that thing. <laughs> the twenty four seven champion. Because I have this belt sitting in front of you. Good. Throw him in that thing. Oh, Give him God. a fighting chance. Wow. I'm here to heal it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making kids cry. Oh boy. Not yeah. the first time. Not the last time. No, no, that's that's for the battle rumble thing. Yeah, the so clustering. That's, that's separate. The clustering. <laughs> write, write the name down, but just put it on the string. <laughs> well, your husband makes the rules. To this thing. <laughs> My husband's a dumbass. He's in the chat. I love you. He's in the chat saying, "I had high hopes for this thing." Shrug emoji. <laughs> wow. Who's next? I just did a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> made my I put someone in space jail. I freed somebody from space jail. Made my kid cry. I made a kid cry. So the night is going great. Um, <laughs> Alex Cars. Alex Cars is back and ready for his pick. Hello. Give me one second. He's ready to be uh, green screened into fantastic <laughs> background. Jail. Again. <laughs> I'm ready to be green screened into a WLC match. Mm-hmm. But anyway. No, you can't. Can't. Sorry, that's in Well, not yet anyway. I tried. I tried. Uh, okay. All right. Give me one second. I'm trying to think. I, I, had, I had a couple ideas, but. They all involved Goldberg. <laughs> one of them did yeah if you make my kid cry i will hurt you uh is there, I don't a, know. Wait, is there a heart is there a heart by daniel bryan i'm just drawing now <laughs> what the hell i'm doing uh okay let's see all right na, 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 na. okay so i think what we need on Mayhem Mania is as many high flyers as possible in one match. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, boy. This is my relatively safe move, by the way. Oh, because boy. I feel like every time I try to do something bold and adventurous, I get people having year-long grudges against me. So. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Don't know what I you're know talking exactly about. what you're talking about. And you know what? You're right. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I got one. Here we go. Uh, so you know what's missing from that uh, Fatal 4-Way high-flying extravaganza? Swerve versus Devlin versus Morrison versus Ricochet. That's right. You've got people representing NXT and NXT UK and Raw and SmackDown. Mucho. What you don't have is... Oh, wait, he's you. Well... Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're going to infuse a little bit more NXT UK influence into that match. We are going to add Ligero oh. to the Fatal Four Way match. Okay, so it's now a Fatal Five Way. <laughs> How do you spell that? Ah, man. Liger with an O. L i g e r o, Jen. It is Liger with an O. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to show her my Liger O face. <laughs> Ligo, Ligo, Ligo. It's just, it's Jen is a, not a fan of this. It's a, it's a mask with horns. Show title. Ligo. I have seen some things. <laughs> Anyways, who's next? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I believe Tina. Tina time. I was right. Uh-oh. I was right. And now, now we pick out of the jar. Pick the punishment. Oh, yes. She did get the punishment. You need to pick yeah, the punishment yeah. out of the... Jar. Whoops, sorry. Nope. <laughs> I got really threw, excited over you there. You threw the jar at him. You gotta be I quick. Can't, I that. can't wait for my next move because I know exactly what I want. All right. Do. Tina, hate to do this to you, but I know you got it in you to really knock this out of the park. So. All gonna, right. Okay. I'm going to pick this and you, well, you have to use this. Uh, this individual. All right. I, don't, I think this is, this ain't too bad. Uh, Peyton Royce. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Peyton Rice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Peyton Rice. Yeah. Tina, do, Tina, do me proud here. It's not bad. You can. <laughs> not you can bad at all. That. It's not really a punishment. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and do the iconics. Iconic. All right. Um, I'm doing the pose too, Jen. It's okay. You gotta be joking. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. You go to journalism for that? <laughs> did, you go to, did you go to Mayhem Mania for that? Hey, Kay. Uh, oh, is that where Kathy went? Did she finally go to journalism? Kathy. Where are you putting them? Let's see. Iconics versus Tony Storm. And are, we, are you are you killing a match for that? Yes, you have to kill oh, a yeah. match for that. I have to kill. I have to kill a match for that. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and kill the um. Oh gosh. Um, Alistair Black versus Keith Lee. 
Oh no, <laughs> Tina! You know you realize what this means. Mason has the Alex. The Alex car is all yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna stay up even later next week. Well, now <laughs> see what you've done, Tina. Oh. <laughs> do you see Take what you've kids done? Candy maybe, and push him down. Maybe, yeah. maybe, we, maybe we can have another rep- a representative from the Collins household as a whole. Matt Quite has possibly. Matt has left the hangout. <laughs> Matt left the hangout. <laughs> like he heard that, and he's like, oh no, his child's in shambles. I need to get Mason to the bed right now. No, you know yeah. what? Wow. Matt Matt just turned around and had the NWA spray paint on the back of his shirt because he was killing <laughs> mayhem all mania. All right, what, is this, what is this match again? Um, the Iconics versus Tony Storm and Killer Kelly. Oh, okay. I like it. Okay, okay. Whatever. <laughs> what are you pay going on? She's, I'm sorry. She's got to go I'm home. Sorry. To, oh yeah, yeah. I have to go home to a crying ten year old in the morning. I'm yeah. sorry. He's like, oh, did Chad, my he's gonna Chad did my guy. other did my other match survive? Um, I'm sorry, okay. son. <laughs> um, I got an eleven year old. Not much different, but just saying. Brandon has made his move in the chat room. What is that? Okay. Tony Storm versus who? Killer. Um, it's the Iconics versus um Tony Storm and Killer Kelly. Oh, Brandon. how it sounds. Excellent. Brandon, that match <laughs> well got... Well done, wait, wait, wait. Tina. Well done. Um, okay. Brandon, okay. Brandon, uh, Jen, Brandon is going to make your child maybe happy. Um, He is replacing Daniel Bryan back with wow. Al. Yeah, so so there was that Daniel Bryan versus Finn. Was that right? Uh, yeah. Finn Balor versus Daniel Bryan with no heart. That's right. He and he's replacing Daniel Bryan with Alistair Black. Yes. Aww, so Finn nice. Balor versus <laughs> Alistair Black. Brandon from so, the KC. So if Mason asks, you just let him know that uh, Alistair Black is on the card. And mm-hmm. like, we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, just yes. Just, oh, he made it. He made it. it. He and made then, it. Some, and then, and then, someone from the Carlin's household can use the Alex Cars rule next week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Is that okay. transferable? I mean, you know, I think I think that's the best way to avoid. I mean, trying. he is underage; you have to have parental permission. So, yeah, we're going to need a permission slip. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sure. Ooh. Oh, my turn. Your turn. Who we got up here? Okay. It's been a oh, God. Iconics what a versus day. Tony Storm and right. Killer Kelly. We're getting rid of that Cesaro versus Bray Wyatt match. Yeah. Yes. Yay. Yes, Missy. Yes, Missy. We're adding in Becky Lynch versus Shayna Baszler. And all her wow. friends. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Oh, it's a Is handicap it a handicap match. match? <laughs> Is it a handicap match? Becky Lynch versus the four horses. <laughs> I just like saying. Her why? One versus why? Because fuck them, that's why. <laughs> she wants They're to all be- going to bite. It's, it's going to be Becky the Vampire Slayer. She wants to be the man. Jeez. Is that it? <laughs> That's it. What do we have now? What does that card look what like? Okay, now? right now we have the Iconics. Iconics versus Tony Storm and Killer Kelly. Mm-hmm. Finn Balor versus Alistair Black. Devon and Batista versus London and Kendrick. I can't believe that survived. Uh, <laughs> Becky Lynch versus Shayna Baszler. And all of her friends. With none of her friends. <laughs> all of her friends. It was Swerve versus Devlin versus Morrison versus Ricochet versus Liger. Hello? Elias. No, 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 not Liger. Ligero. <laughs> Ligero. Ligero. Yeah. What the freak? <laughs> LOL. Just That's put an O at the end of Liger. It's like we just unretired Liger. Liger. <laughs> Liger. <laughs> I want. I want to. Although go. I'm not gonna lie, he's, he's probably got guy. one more in him. Okay. That would be Elias a better match. versus Shinsuke Nakamura, Bianca Belair versus Jazz, and Angel Angel Garza versus CM Punk. <laughs> That's it. Undertaker escaped space jail today, <laughs> and Goldberg has gone into space jail, ruining a kid's dreams. Oh boy! Oh boy. <laughs> and wait, who did, who did we add to the to the schmas? Oh, we added, Riddick uh, Moss. Riddick Moss. Okay. Riddick Riddick Moss. Moss. Riddick Moss. Like, the <laughs> it just sounds like a bad Vin Diesel character. 
The Chronicles <laughs> of Riddick Moss. Riddick Moss. He only runs on the eastern side of trees. <laughs> <laughs> it's Black Four starring Riddick Moss. Riddick Moss. He doesn't wash his hands. <laughs> Riddick Moss is patient zero. Jeez. Guys, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Riddick Moss. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that Reg Moss is still a 24 7 champion for I some reason. I just learned that dude's name. Today. <laughs> <laughs> there were a bunch of chants, Who Are uh, You? Yeah, yeah, when he was yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Brooklyn. Was I, yeah, but that's Brooklyn. They I don't know. It was Mason Ryan. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, learned, I learned something in wrestling this week. Hmm. I learned that Sorg's brain can automatically just filter out something that it doesn't want him to see. Yeah, I was shown something backstage and I, I was like it was like a uh you know, if you like have a, a, a trauma to to your brain and mm -hmm. you just kinda like block it out. And I think that's what happened. Were you with Super Hentai? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did I know? Mm -hmm. Uh did you, did you get helicoptered? I think that's what happened, yeah. <laughs> Just, just, yeah, it's dramatic. Yeah. It's dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome to the club. I'm just so tell happy. me more about it. Sorry. I'm just so happy that nobody hit record on my camera when they took it. Um, when I looked at footage today, I'm like, oh, good, no, no surprises. Because you know, I would have handed that to you like next week at a show, and you'd be like, wait, what's on this camera? Oh, oh God! <laughs> you would have been oh, traumatized again. I would have been like, "Oh God, Super Hentai," <laughs> without any, yeah, without any real knowing that he's that. Yeah, Chad, what'd you learn from? Oh, wrestling at least this week? you know how he got his name. Yeah, well, I was gonna say that. Yeah, Chad, what'd you learn? Uh, <laughs> I Did learned you that Riddick Moss is twenty four seven champion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, no, I learned uh, that you know, uh, even in. Uh, wrestling's everywhere even mm -hmm. in, even in the gaming and, and collectible card games and board games and stuff there's always mm -hmm. there's always some type of wrestling somewhere you can find it and uh most of the time it's pretty good awesome mike yeah, people love it man mike what'd you learn god i learned that everyone should just skip the royal rumble next year and just start pointing to fucking signs it's a much easier way to get a match point Point. You son Point. of a bitch, I'm in. I got, I got a match at No Way Out, guys. I'm going to No Way Out. There we go. <laughs> I got a match. Hold on. Wait, someone put on a hat and tip it. That, that, that's who I'm going to face. Thank you. Cards. Cards tipped an imaginary hat. So it's me versus Cards at No Way Out. There you go. Sounds about right. There you go. <laughs> Dina, what'd you learn? A ELC match. I learned that Orange Cassidy throws a better Superman punch than Roman Reigns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> What about you, Alex? I learned... Oh, here we go. I learned that there's a certain point where uh, musical performances at a wrestling show are just not necessary. And that point, for me at least, was the entrance for Cody. Yep. Mm. Because... Was, was great. Well, I could... I, there, there's a few reasons why I wasn't super thrilled with the performance, but mainly because they started his actual music, then he came out on stage, and then they did the live band just popping up from behind him. I'm like, just do the live performance and play him in, but don't start with, like, regular music. And then it's kind of like, it's almost like the opposite of what happened with um, with the choir entrance yeah. for Jericho. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, just, and just... Just go all in with it or nothing. No, I, you know? I, I think this is, I think this is what happened. They started the music. Cody came out. Everybody got so traumatized by the tattoo. They <laughs> thought that that was what was happening afterwards, but it really wasn't. I'm just surprised no, no, no. the guys that were singing Cody's theme just didn't go, We are Motorhead. No, Jesus. Jeez. It's all about the Cody. Jen, did you go? And how you play it? No. She did not. Did you learn? Nothing. What? Nothing? You didn't learn anything about AEW? I learned that I don't want to do this again. <laughs> that is learning wow. something. Wow. That is wow. learning something wrestling. This is Matt this is Matt Carlin's baby and 
He can keep it. So Jen wants nothing to do with Matt's baby. No, we got it. That is the takeaway from now. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. In in Jen's defense, this is Carlin's baby with Sorg, not with Jen. With Sorg. Hey, you know what? You look out. You look after that kid, regardless of whose father it is. Carlin's Carlin says, "I learned that Mayhem Mania is a damn disaster without me." I mean, <laughs> and Kyle learned that uh, nothing pisses the internet off more than a neck tattoo. There you go. Jen Carlins, thank you for doing something. I tried. <laughs> Chad the Shad. Chad the Shad, the uh, 24 7 uh, Mayhem Fantasy Football, football Champion. Champion. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And add her to Mayhem tonight. Mm hmm. And bringer of children's tears. Mad hey. Mike4883 on the tweets. Also, youtube.com slash poppy. Producer Missy on the voice as well. Hi. Tina, thank you for joining us again. Hello, hello. And Alex Cards, of course, OccupyProWrestling.com. I am once again asking for your support at OccupyProWrestling.com. There you go. Go get it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody in the chat room all night. Uh, We'll see you guys next week. Uh, Mayhem out. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, wait for the perfect time then attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time then attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron Media.